Yo, 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 what's going on? It's the NRW, where nerds rule the world. It's your boy, Kuya P, a.k.a. Patrick Michael Strange. And I'm here with my brother from another mother, the blurred dad himself, the guy that levels us up with level of comedy, Mr. Glenn Lawrence. What's up, Glenn? What is going on? I'm hype, bro. That's what's going on. I'm super hype because we got that special advanced screening, uh, you know, swag to check okay. out this amazing movie that we're going to talk about real quick in just a minute. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. But before we break it down, let's show you the trailer so you can get hype uh, along with us. And then we'll let you all know what we think about this amazing new film. And I just gave you a hint there. I said amazing. But let's throw it to the trailer right now. Here we go. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Hey, can we get real for a second? We've been friends for 10 years. I know that you don't like to talk about your life. But a guy with a freaking machete for an arm Brilliant. just chopped our butts in half. DJ Snakes. Who are you? Run it. Only talking, making major moves. My father trained me to be the Ten Rings' greatest weapon. On the road to riches, I can never lay around. But that's not who I am. Me against the world, I got my back against the wall. How did you find me? I always know where my children are. Me against the world, I got my back against the wall. Seems like a nice fella. It's time to show the world. No, I'm hellbound. Oh, but I'm well now. Oh, who I really am. No one will ever stop. Product of all who came before you. If I die, it's your fault. Man, you leave in town. Say you married to the game and I'm just here to find a guy. I must stop him. Hell yeah. Looking fresh and feeling like a millie. If you got a problem when you see me, tell me show you what we can do. My name is Shang Chi. Shang Chi. Shang. 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 S H A N G. Shang. That's what I said. Oh, you can turn it up. Yeah, you can hear me. Marvel Studios Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings in theaters September third. Boom! There you go. The trailer for Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. My brother Glenn and I will now break it down. But before he kicks it off with uh, our breakdown on the characters, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the story. Hopefully, without spoiling. I think I'll do a decent job on this. Uh, fingers crossed. I'm gonna work it through. Glenn, keep keep your fingers crossed for me, brother. Because <laughs> we don't want to spoil. We don't want to spoil. We want the people to go in this uh with uh, no prior knowledge with other than what they know from the trailer and everything which you know everybody's seen that so here we go um it starts off uh, a little bit with the background on the pops played by the amazing tony loong and i'll just say this as much as this is shang chi and the legend of the ten rings it's also wang wu as you see from my background uh it's wang wu's story as well uh, and it kicks off with uh, what we know about wang wu uh shang chi's dad also aka in america mandarin you know and we're getting that whole reintroduction on mandarin that we knew from iron man and uh the, the original iron man film and then iron man 2 and with with ben kingsley involved uh that he was you know taking this title and that the 10 rings is a much larger organization uh we get that background because a lot of people that are super marvel nerds were like i'm wondering what's up with that because we, we saw it in the trailer everybody knows that the 10 rings have been around for a while since the beginning of this whole Avengers universe from Iron Man. So uh, this story, as much as it is Shang-Chi's, is Wenwu, a.k.a. the Mandarin story as well. And that's how we get kicked off this film. We're getting background on Pops, and then we find out, you know, how he connected with Mom and all that. And then we go to present day where Shang-Chi is now living in San Francisco. Shout out to my 49ers because I'm a big San Francisco 49 <laughs> fan. Uh, but living in the amazing uh, for, uh, uh, city of San Francisco, which is a, another uh, home from home, uh, home away from home for me. I love San Fran. And so we see Shang-Chi living there. Uh, he's not going by Shang-Chi yet. Uh, we know him as Sean. Sean is his name. 
uh, kind of a weird thing there, but you'll learn more about that when you uh, see the film. So Sean is living there. He has a best friend, Katie. They enjoy karaoke very much. They hang out. Uh, he's living his best life, he, he he feels, you know, there. But come to find out his past uh, comes back into play with him where he gets attacked on a bus. And that leads to one of the greatest fight scenes you'll ever see in a Marvel film. Uh, hands down, I really enjoyed uh, this amazing introductory where we see that Sean, a.k.a. Shang-Chi, actually knows how to handle his business, which surprises his girl, Katie, played by the amazing Aquafina. And again, one of the most amazing fight scenes uh, I've ever seen in cinema. Would you agree there, Glenn? One of the most amazing Absolutely. fight scenes. Absolutely. Just one of the greatest in the Marvel MCU, for sure. But also yeah. one of the greatest just in general uh, action sequences. Hell yeah. Uh, I think in an action movie I've seen. It's, it, it ranks up there with the tops. There you go. And you saw a little bit of it in the trailer that we just showed. So yeah. just uh, that's just going to get amplified when you finally see it, people. And also in that trailer, we saw uh, the int introduction of Razor Fist. Razor Fist fights him on the bus as well. So uh, amazing scene there uh, in the introduction of Razor Fist in the MCU. Just good stuff. So uh, he's being hunted. He, he finds out that things are going down and uh, he's going to have to go back home to find out why this is happening and have no business. And uh, as we know, you know, he has a sister, you know, that in the comic books and you saw that from the trailer, that's not spoiling anything. And he's got to go seek her out. Um, but family isn't on the best of terms. So uh, when he goes back to China uh, to find his sister, uh, they don't exactly kick it off uh, rather well. So uh, that then leads to another amazing fight scene that to me, uh, uh, when I was talking to another friend that saw this film uh, as well early, uh, was very Jackie Chan-esque. Would you say that, Glenn? Uh, another amazing fight scene that was very reminiscent of some very uh, amazing Jackie Chan uh, films. Uh, would you agree? Did, are you a Jackie yeah. Chan fan, Glenn? I, I love Jackie Chan, um, you know, from back in the day since he uh, came on the scene real big in America. And then I was just watching like all of uh, the movies that he's been in. I, I even up to his one of his later movies, which is uh, called the uh, the Inspector, I believe, uh, where he's not even he's not even he was trying to get away from doing so much, um, you know, just funny funny hijinks, uh, karate, do something more dramatic. But yeah, Jackie Chan for sure. Uh, you <laughs> definitely get the the um, influences here in the fight scenes, and it's just amazing. Just all the set work. That they oh yeah, with it just uh, yeah, I can't so, say enough. Uh, it, it, it it takes up the level of action in a marvel movie uh, hell by, yeah by hand to hand movie. combat yeah. you know yeah all of that just amazing yeah very jackie chan influence so yeah just had to throw it in there but just an amazing si fight scene outside of a uh uh uh, kind of an abandoned, I wouldn't say abandoned building, but it was not a very uh, abandoned because they, they have some stuff going on up in there. Again, I don't want to yeah. spoil, but just some really cool things outside of that building and what goes down, introducing some new characters. And, and because it was in the trailer, you get death, you, you meet Death Dealer uh, there, and there's a, an amazing fight scene with Death Dealer. Um, who is also from the comics. So that was a cool introduction there. Um, but just uh, just some cool stuff. Oh, also earlier on in that scene, when he finally meets up with his sister, uh, we saw from the trailer, Abomination was there. We also saw Wong from Doctor Strange. So those character introductions happen. Uh, but again, that's not spoiling because that was in the trailer. So y'all know that. My guy, Wong. But just cool stuff <laughs> to kind of just merge this whole universe together uh, of the MCU. So just... You love it. You love to see it You as Marvel nerds, Marvel stands, just all that build up. Um, and so uh, the family getting together, uh, come to find out that, you know, their father, who they have in a strange relationship with them, is seeking them out. And again, we all kind of get that concept from the trailer. And y'all who are stands and have been watching this uh, trailer stuff know that's what's happening. And uh, then that takes us into the third act. And that's where I'm definitely going to be very careful and where I'm not going to spoil. And so... They get together, they got to go against their pops, a.k.a. Wen Wu, a.k.a. the Mandarin, and then we get a little bit more. We get introductions to what happens uh, uh, with some of the things that they have and, and where it's going to push the story forward. And I'm going to leave it there, y'all, because we don't want to spoil. Um, so just to me, uh, you know, we're going to recap that in the review because we're going to do characters. We want to talk more on the characters and then we'll give you our review on what we think about this whole film. So let me throw it over to Mr. Glenn Lawrence, the blurred dad. Go ahead, Glenn. Characters. Uh, Let's uh, well, I mean, lead, it, lead us off with the first character. 
Yeah, it's start it's starting us out um, kind of on that review path. And, and I mean, the the actors that they they got for this, everybody was cast perfectly. Marvel does a great job of casting. I think once again they hit it out the park. They're able to find people who fit very well with uh, the stories they're trying to tell. Uh, one of the first people who was casted for the film was Aquafina. She, uh, she, you know, she's the the friend Katie. She was one of the first people who was um, announced as a cast member for the Shang-Chi film. Um, she even helped with the, you know, the audition of Simu uh, Li, Liu. Is that how you say Liu. it? Simu, Simu Liu. Liu. Um, yeah, so so she helped with, with that casting. And their chemistry together is really, really fun, man. They have a lot of uh, energy together. It's funny. The film is funny. That's the one thing from the plot that um, I, I don't think you mentioned, but I know that you, you got from this because oh, yeah. you were sitting right there next to me. The film is funny. Like the chemistry is there and you laugh throughout man it's a it's a it's a darn good time uh you got to give a shout out to um to wing Wu, uh tony totally long um uh, i'm sorry tony lu lu lung lung totally yeah it's all right man it, it, it's it's you know it's yeah. different I'm a, with some I'm of these a, words i'm trying You're gonna mess up and that's okay some, just yeah, keep I'm it going not to butcher these names uh go ahead and uh leave us a comment here if you are very upset about how i butcher their names and i will just on our next review i will i will go through and say them correctly the next time but tony loom <laughs> uh, is amazing as the father he's a he's long time um um actor over um you know uh, east of the of the atlantic He's a, <laughs> or, uh, you know, uh, Eastern um, Eastern culture, very, very well respected actor. And I think this film will uh, bridge over, you know, into the Americas. He's amazing as uh, when we um, we get to see him uh, not only with his martial arts prowess, mm -hmm. but also just, you know, showing those dramatic beats. He had there's a connection there with uh, with um uh shang shang his his son but you know simu in the in the film uh i'm sorry simu the the actor but shang in the film uh he like you you get to see everybody's chemistry they, they fit really well together had a great time with them um wong's in this he's not in this for very long but he you know of course he does his things there's some other characters we're not going to spoil but uh they're definitely uh fun to see see there and well-respected actors um we get michelle yo uh she comes in later in the film um and she she is amazing as she always is she's really fun uh to have she comes in as as a, a distant relative and she really helps um um, you know, move this, move the story forward. Uh, we, we have so many good um, actors. Oh, Ronnie Chang, Ronnie Chang, uh, the comedian, you know, I always love my comedians and he is hilarious as John, John, the, uh, you know, the, the fight promoter um, in the film, like he's really fun too. Everybody fits really well, man. They did a great job. I love uh, the sister Jing Ling, Ji Ling, um, uh, that's the name of the sister in the film, but, uh, Manger Zang, Manger Zhang, Zhang, Manger, Manger Zhang. I am so sorry that I'm butchering your name. Manger, Manger, uh, Zhang. Uh, she's the sister. She's great. She's phenomenal throughout the entire movie. Um, I love, I love her, her skill, her fighting skill. And then also just the, the funny moments that she has, you really get a brotherly, uh, sisterly feel um throughout the film so uh the actors did an amazing job uh even razor fist who's super menacing throughout the film we get to see him he's amazing he's amazing in this too you really are like damn that dude he looks big he looks big and he looks nimble um and he and he does give that kind of uh impending um feel that buff you know henchman feel so um it's great. And like I said, there's some there's some there's some little surprises in there that we won't spoil. But there's some seasoned actors in, in this one that are that are pretty amazing. Um, I got to give a shout out to we didn't get to see the face, but Death Dealer, Andy Lee, also amazing in there. Also very menacing as a as a henchman. Uh, entire film. Great cast from top to bottom. Amazing. All right. All right. All right. Uh, I also want to point out who you didn't mention amongst the cast. Uh, in characters was the mom, uh, Fala Chen, uh, who plays Zhang Li, Shang Chi's mom. Uh, right. Outstanding. Because again, like I said earlier, to me, as much as this is a Shang Chi story, this is Wang Wu story. And, and Fala Chen, who plays Zhang Li, 
uh, Tony Leung's wife, man, yeah. uh, killed how it. Can I for- how can I forget that the first scene with them together? <laughs> it's it all good, like man. Your father, you you yeah. don't you don't get enough sleep, and that's all good. All all the other blurred dads that are watching this understand, man. So it's all good. So for those of you that are the uninitiated that may not have seen the channel, you know, he's our resident blurred dad. The brother doesn't get enough sleep. So just give him a pass. Give the brother a pass. But uh, it's, it's so all yeah, love, brother. That first that first scene with them, um, you know, with uh, Tony, Tony Long and Fala Chan. It's amazing. It's like, um, I don't know. It was it was almost like ballet. It was just so cinematic, yeah. so beautiful. And I just found myself like lost in the story and kind of like, 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 you know, when you're watching something so beautiful, it's like you kind of pucker your lips up like you want to kiss it. Like <laughs> it just it just was amazing in the way that they're moving and they're flowing, yeah. um, you know, to do that and to to act with emotion. And I I feel like a lot of Asian culture was borrowed for this film. Or I mean, it is it is part of uh, the culture and it was it was put into this film. And I, I think they definitely did a service to it. They made uh, the martial art look like an art. So it was beautiful. It was fun. It was engaging. Um, and it had that hint that that Marvel hint of like kind of, you know, mystical, magical, um, supernatural. Um, so so that was all dope there, too. Uh, entire cast was dope. Uh, how could I forget the mom? Apologies. It's all good, dude. It's all good. But, but, so, but yes. Mwah. All right. So let's let's break down a little bit of review stuff here now. So we told you about the story characters doing our best without spoiling. I think we did a sufficient job. Um, uh, going back though, because we we had brought up the scene where Fala Chen and, and Tony Lung meet up, Wen Wu and Zhang Li, uh, their characters respectively, and that we see a little bit in the trailer. Uh, when I was having a conversation with another friend who saw this film uh, early on, another reviewer, uh, we we're like, what was the best fight scene in the film? And to me. Uh, the best fight scene because of its artistry and beauty and that you were just saying, uh, you know, you were talking earlier about, you know, just a second ago was when we see the meeting and you're like, like you kind of brought up, it was kind of like a ballet. It, it was so beautiful. And I think, uh, and I hope that with this film uh, as an Asian American, uh, I, I think there's so many great fight scenes in the movie. We finally merge a lot of that wushu uh Asian fight films into a Marvel film and, and but we get the best of the best here and but for me that film in particular when when Wu and Zhang Li match up uh they slow it down in a a little bit in in certain parts of that scene mm-hmm. that just really it's like a ballet and it's a beauty yeah. and there's artistry there and so I really hope that connects with the wider audience that's going to see this film cuz it's just so beautiful and to me there's so many amazing fight scenes, but if I'm putting the edge over one fight scene over the other, it's that uh, battle between Wen Wu and Zhang Li when they first meet, uh, and you'll understand in the story. But um, it was so beautiful because they they slowed it down, and you got yeah. to enjoy really, and really sit with it and get some moments there, um, and but how they connect as yeah. uh, characters. It's that also, to me was brilliant. Would you Would you also, say? Yeah, it's also so much. Uh, passion that was uh, in it, and you can. There's a lot of emotion in every in every punch and everything that they do, um, and you could just uh, sense it. It was shot amazingly. Uh, uh, we didn't we didn't talk about this, but the director, um, Dustin Daniel, um, I yes. think it is um, Dustin Daniel Cretton, who also was one of the writers uh, on the yeah. film. So he put his he really put a stamp on oh. it beyond just directing it. Um, but let's also give a shout out to the other pair of writers. So Dustin Daniel Cretton. And, uh, directed it mm-hmm. and then he wrote it along with Dave Callahan and Andrew Lanham. And yeah. with that being said, I, I want to uh, make an important note here that if you've been watching the channel, I was really, really worried about this film. So now that we're talking review about this uh, film, my concerns uh, with Dave Callahan being involved with this project was how poorly he wrote Wonder Woman 1984. We'll go ahead and say that. I, I wasn't a fan. Mm. Uh, it- Wonder Woman 1984 had its moments, but yeah, I was rather weak. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, and so I was really worried. And then his other pedigree was Doom and uh, Expendables. Track record wasn't the best. If you, if, I think I we can agree upon that. Was was uh, you know. it, it was, his track record? Let's just be honest, brother. His track record wasn't best. So it was nervousness in regards to this. But I think with D- Destin Daniel Cretton, you know, putting his stamp on it, as well as Kevin Feige being behind this. Kevin Feige ain't taking no losses, bro. Kevin right. Feige ain't taking no losses. And, and so uh, any issues that we had were, were cleaned up 
because you had Kevin on this project, you had Destin Daniel Critton on us, and so it, it became a, a an amazing film. At least that's how I'm taking it. Well, because I was what? really worried about this film, and it turned out to be blow out all, all, all my expectations. Well, he also did um, Zombie Land uh, Double Tap, which was not you know too bad. It was garbage, bro, compared to the first Zombie Land. Let's was, just be honest, man. Daniel Callahan, I, I mean like Dave Callahan, Mortal has Kombat, not been the best writer. Mortal Kombat was was had was a problem. <laughs> it was did, okay. He did, he did it had its last, third act didn't finish it yeah, all the way, no, brother. The last Mortal Kombat, the only thing good about it was the very first scene. That was like the very first exactly. Part so was, was good. let's so, be honest. So yeah. We don't we don't have to worry. We're not getting paid right now. No. So no, we're I, gonna I, be I'm real saying, to our audience. I, I'm listen. You have pro- you have extreme problems with them. I have. <laughs> I have a, it, it, it's problematic. I enjoyed the Expendables because I didn't expect too much. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so I wasn't that worried about them. Um, I was very excited to see what uh, uh, Daniel um, Daniel uh, Cretton was going to do or uh, Dustin Daniel Cretton was going to do with this film because you know he's 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 a good he's a good actor. He did uh, Just Mercy. Um, what else did he do? He did, oh yeah, um, he's amazing. Dustin Daniel Cretton. I have no issues with him. Uh, yeah, and I so think that's I, what saved this film yeah, by having I'm him involved good. with the script and Kevin Feige and the other guy yeah. that helps clean up the problems that Dave Callahan was going to bring. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, dry. <laughs> yeah. So, so anyway, uh, you know, he, he did a great job with it, um, directed really well and you can see it. You can see the artistry in that scene in particular, like when that scene happens, it felt like, Oh, I know I'm going to be in good hands for the rest of this movie. Cause that's that that scene was so beautiful and cinematic. Yeah. So to me, uh, again, this story is both the two of them, Shang-Chi and Wen Wu's story and done so brilliantly. And and uh, another thing that I, I kind of noticed, I don't know if you noticed, but like Black Widow that preceded this, you know, they are really in this next phase. I feel like it's all about family. Yeah. You know what I'm and saying? I think that's what's if you necessary. if you think about this, as well as the Disney Plus series that we're getting, it's about the importance of family. And I'm loving it. I like and it. I guess because I'm a father, you're a new father. Right. It's the family familiar overtones are really hitting me. And I'm just I'm loving it because it's so important. Family is so important. And the the, the panty that we're living in, just the importance of family. So I, I really enjoy this movie. And despite how broken the, this family is, they come together, you know, later on in the end, you know, with, with the brother and sister. Uh, and I'm not going to spoil anything else, but just the importance of family and, and coming together. Um, just sat true with this uh, film and just I was yeah. blown away. I had my concerns going in, but was blown away. And uh, I, I absolutely love this film. Shang-Chi now is tied for first place for me. Um, oh, wow. In, in Marvel Cinematic Universe uh, with Black Panther. Um, oh, nice. as, as a POC, you know, I felt really that that's what solidified Black Panther for me. Uh, with with Black Panther and that representation, and now with Shang Chi and the representation, and then the family overtones and the richness of culture in both of those films is, is that's why they're it, it's tied for first place. I can't put one above the other. The, they both get number one for me. So that's that's my review uh, with this film. What about you, Glenn? I definitely put it in my top three. Um, it it's uh, pretty incredible what they were able to do in here. And I, I, again, family being a major focus in this, I really, really thought they did a great job with um, uh, like, like bringing that home and throughout it, even if they're at odds or whatever, you still got the love, even though, you know, the, you know, even with the father being deathly at odds uh, with uh, Shang-Chi, he, that you still felt that the family was there and the mom, you felt the love, the sister, you felt the animosity throughout, you know what I'm saying? Because they're throwing some heavy blows, but you still feel the the love of the family. Even Katie, you know what I'm saying? Being a secondary character and you get to see her family and the behind the scenes and how they really took him in. And then that helps you see the connection between them two. Uh, it, you, know, it, you know, that was all great. Those are some other actors that were in the film that we didn't even talk about, but her family, like that little scene was so authentic uh, and it felt so so real and life like it really helped bring everything together. Um, so you know, with that said, uh, I love the plot. I love what they did. I love, I love it when it's not you know, oh, I got a suit, you got the same suit, you know, type of thing. It's like you know, really, really delving into characters and their differences and how they mesh and how they have that friction. 
Shang-Chi does that. It delivers on just about every level that you can expect. The humor, the the um, the superhero-ness of it, you know what I mean? The interconnected between the Marvel Universe um, and, and, and the humor is, is great there. It, it's just, it's a, it's a top-notch film. I came out of it saying that it it might be you know my my favorite one of my favorite Marvel films. It's definitely in the top. I mean, Marvel has some pretty hard ones to beat. Some you know some pretty amazing moments in the Marvel universe. Uh, that's the only thing is missing. There's some amazing moments in the Marvel universe when you you know the the first time that like Tony Stark is meeting Doctor Strange. You know like like those moments you can't really do that in in an origin story. But I definitely think this is the number I... one. <laughs> origin story yeah. in marvel like character introduction uh movie number one um it's it's vying for the top overall but yeah. it's definitely the the best introduction to a character definitely agree definitely agree. hold up i think something just came in the mail man um Uh-oh. What, what, Uh-oh. What, is, what is this Uh-oh. hold up hold up i think something just just came in real quick i'm sorry um i, I think i like this film um I, I think okay. I, I think i like this film what what, what did this why, why why did this come in the mail to Zai Zai uh, Ling? Oh, hold up! I got I got two two of these. Um, I think I'm gonna open up one. That's as you wait, can wait. see, I'm I'm standing over this film. I, I, I think uh, you know Glenn knows. I, I want to get rid of a lot of this stuff, but because I freaking love this film so much, uh, you're just gonna I, replace it with some other stuff. <laughs> hold up! Oh, I think something else came in the mail. Hold on, real quick. I'll be right back. Um, uh oh. I think I think. I think oh, uh, something else came it? in the mail over oh, here. That's the jacket. I think something oh, else came in the mail Kuya, over here. Um, let's let's oh, let's like let's represent real quick. Um, I like it. I think I like the film. All right. I think I like yeah. the film. All right. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, yeah nice. uh, shout out Where'd to Disney get that store. Drip, son. Where'd you get that drip? Sh- the Disney store. Shout out to Disney <laughs> store. Got the Shang Chi drop. It just came in the mail today. <laughs> I think he liked it just a little bit. I don't have this a little bit. Look, I got the Stanley shirt. I got the Stanley <laughs> shirt on. You know, I'm I'm definitely supporting. I don't got the swag, yo. But you, you're Shang Chi job. I can see how. And, and see I'm gonna how. let y'all know. Uh, so stay tuned to my my Instagram. Strange since 1977. Uh, my family and I we decided. Uh, for Halloween this year, uh, I will be doing Shang Chi. I got my Shang Chi costume set up. This ain't this ain't it. I'm gonna have a whole more comic oh, film yeah. accurate costume. My wife Ebony is going to be uh, the going to wear the costume of the mom in that fight scene that we're talking about. Zhang Li, Ooh. that that with the mask and the hat, yes, she the green off. costume. She's gonna do that. And my daughter is torn. Between Xiling the sister uh, costume with in the white and you know this, but basically in white, yeah, and or Death Dealer, she loved Death Dealer. Oh, so uh, Death Dealer, yeah. I'm hoping she does the Death Dealer because I think that would look kind of cool, and we could do like a fight scene between the two of us. So oh, uh, stay tuned for that, Any y'all. That she picks are gonna be amazing. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So uh, yeah, we loved uh, Shang Chi up in here, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so that's 100%. the review. <laughs> Shang Chi up in this piece. Hi, right, man, hey, Glenn. You look, you look good over there, Kuya P. Ah, thanks, man. You know, I feel a little bit of thriller because it's the red, right? That's what I was gonna. I feel say. a little bit of thriller, but it's Shang Chi. Not bad. I don't know. I, I I saw this online. I may keep it. I don't know. I was like, man, let me just order it. Say, see what it I looks didn't want like. you to be. I didn't want you to be salty if I was like, like, like MJ from Thriller. I didn't want you to be salty. No, yeah, I felt it. <laughs> what do you think, though? Should I keep it? I don't know, man. It's, I like it. It's kind I mean, of it's good. It has its place. I'm sure you could wear it somewhere. I like. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. All right, brother. Let's let's get up out of here because we got other stuff to do and talk about. So, uh, how can they reach out to the Blur Dad, uh, Mr. Glenn Lawrence? Hey, you can always find me levelupcomedy.com, level up comedy on all your IGs, Twitters, uh, all that good stuff, Facebook. Uh, also, uh, Glenn Lawrence Laughs, um, Glenn Lawrence Comedy on Facebook, IG, uh, and Twitter. Um, also, Blurred That Podcast. Check that out. We got some great episodes talking about some amazing things. Not always comedy, sometimes we're talking about uh, issues. I love it. I love it. Follow my brother, Glenn Lawrence, the Blurred Dad, uh, Level Up Comedy, all that. Love you, bro. Uh, your boy, Kuya P. You can follow me at Strange Since 1977. Uh, that's the IG or at Temple Far East. That's the Twitter. 
and the legend Kuya P on TikTok. Uh, over at the Nerds of Color, where we give you pop culture from a POC perspective. That's at the Nerds of Color on everything, as well as my Philippine X show, Show Pal Show. Check that out. And of course, over here with my buddy, brother Glenn, uh, my brother Loy, Rue, Anita, Rob, uh, the NRW, New Release Wednesday, Nerds Rule the World, at the NRW and at New Release Wednesday. That's, that, those are your handles, Twitter, IG, all of that. Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube, all of that. We love y'all. Glenn Lawrence, Kuya P, out of here. Boom, boom. Ten rings. Ten rings. All day. <laughs>